Welcome to the College of Information Sciences and Technology at Penn State. My name is Alexis and I'm excited to show you around the Westgate Building, which is home to the College of IST. The Westgate Building opened in 2004. It is one of the most recognizable buildings on campus. This nearly 800 foot long building spans Atherton Street over a walkway known as the IST Bridge. In fact, the building was modeled after the Ponte Vecchio Bridge in Florence, Italy, where Renaissance Italians gathered to share ideas and conduct business. True to its inspiration, you'll see plenty of people making their way across the bridge and catching up with friends and classmates. It's one of the most popular photo spots on campus and a great place to catch a sunset. IST classrooms, faculty, and staff are housed on the east side of the building, and departments from the College of Engineering are on the west side. Let's go inside to check it out. We are here on the first floor of the Westgate Building for our first stop, the ISD Academic Services Suite. This is one of the most important places for any ISD student to know. It's a one-stop shop for academic, professional, and personal successes. You'll come here to meet with your academic advisors, who will work with you on your course planning to help you reach your goals. Advisors can help you identify courses that interest you and help you plan for experiences like selecting an application focus area, a minor, study abroad programs, and more. Most importantly, they'll help you stay on track for graduation. It's incredibly important to stay in touch with your academic advisor. They'll remind you to read your Penn State email frequently to make sure you're meeting all of your graduation requirements. Also in the suite are career coaches. Career coaches help you explore your professional interests through personalized appointments, networking opportunities, and workshops with employers. They'll review your resume, prepare you for interviews, and help you prepare for a successful internship and career. They'll also organize the IST internship and career fairs. Every undergrad student in the college must complete at least one internship before graduation. Get to know your career team and make the most out of that opportunity. Next up is the student engagement team, which helps our students take advantage of all the amazing activities within IST and across Penn State that can happen outside of the classroom. They help IST organizations thrive and coordinate undergrad research and study abroad opportunities. This team will help you find ways to connect to the college, develop essential leadership skills, and build your social network. Another important group is the learning design team, which coordinates essential learning support through peer tutoring and learning assistant programs. These initiatives put ISD students in positions to support their classmates as they take on the challenging curriculum here. And last but certainly not least is the office focused on inclusion and diversity engagement at IST. This amazing group of advocates prepares every member of the IST community to be leaders in a global community. They host diversity and inclusion workshops, uphold a warm and equitable environment in the college, and provide support to everyone at IST, particularly individuals from underrepresented backgrounds. No matter who you are and what you're interested in, they're here to support you. That's it for the Academic Services Suite. Let's take a short walk down the hall for our next stop. Just past the Academic Services Suite are some of the many collaboration spaces you can find in the Westgate Building. Teamwork is huge in the College of IST. It helps students apply the skills they are learning in the classrooms to real-world challenges. It's one of the most sought-after skills for employers. IST has created a variety of technology-enabled spaces to foster and celebrate teamwork. As a student, you can reserve these rooms to participate in virtual or in-person interviews with our corporate partners who are hiring for internships and full-time positions. You can meet with peers to complete team projects or hold student organizational meetings. And if you need special accommodations, you can also take your exams here. These social spaces are a great place to catch up with friends between classes or as a quiet spot to study, eat, or just relax. If you need help with any of the technology or even just someone to troubleshoot an issue on your laptop, you can visit the IT Help Desk on the first floor. The IT team also supports our virtual desktop space, which gives you the flexibility to work individually or collaborate with team members anywhere on campus. It also lets you access over 60 software programs and resources you'll need for your IST courses. That wraps up the first floor. Let's head upstairs to check out some classrooms. Here we are in a typical IST classroom. If you're watching this as you explore the building in person and classes are currently in session, we kindly ask that you do not disturb the class by entering the rooms. Though the college continues to grow, four of the 11 IST classrooms in the Westgate building seats less than 30 students and nine seat fewer than 55 students. This helps to create a small college atmosphere where faculty have an easier time connecting with students. 
It also helps each student in the class to be engaged in the course. There is one larger lecture hall called the Cybertorium, which we'll check out in a minute. Students will take ISD classes located in other buildings across campus, mostly in their first two years. But as you advance in your major, most of the classes will take place in one of the rooms in the Westgate's second floor hallway. This helps you stay connected to your classmates and faculty. It makes it easy to catch up on your work, ask questions, and get extra help between classes. Just outside of the classrooms are plenty of tables and seating areas for more study time, collaboration, and socializing. Inside the classroom, ISC faculty challenge students to connect to the course content through real-world projects. Many of those projects come through our college's corporate partners. Courses focus on helping students learn universal concepts and skills that can be applied to the challenges and technologies of the future. They also give students the technical expertise and critical skills needed to lead in the information age. Now, let's head back down the hallway and take a walk across the IST Bridge to check out Reese's Cafe. Here we are in Reese's Cafe. It's a popular spot to grab a bite to eat, get some work done between classes, and catch up with friends. The cafe sits at the center of the Westgate building in the main atrium, providing plenty of natural light and a great view. It's a pretty cool experience to watch the cars drive underneath the building as they make their way up and down Atherton Street. The cafe features a grab-and-go restaurant with coffee, snacks, and some pre-made meals. It's also a gathering place for different events. New student welcomes, research poster presentations, graduation socials, and other activities are held here throughout the year. An unmistakable feature of Reese's Cafe is the Grand Staircase, 54 steps that will take you to the faculty offices and research labs on the third floor. We'll talk about those soon. Of course, we have elevators too. Let's take a quick walk around the corner to check out the Cybertorium. Here we are outside of the Cybertorium, the largest classroom in the Westgate building. The Cybertorium holds 155 students and is used for some of the college's first year courses that are required for all ISC students, regardless of their major. Despite its size, ISC faculty work hard to make the bigger classroom feel small through breakout discussions, small group work, and walking up and down the stairs as they teach. The Cybertorium also holds a large projection screen, speakers, and plenty of technology. It hosts many of the college's distinguished lectures, student organization showcases, and workshops throughout the year. You can also pitch your own business ideas here in the Bardish Family Idea Makers Challenge and win cash prizes during Penn State Startup Week. And regardless of why you're in the Cybertorium, it's one of the coolest classrooms on campus. Let's head upstairs to check out the faculty offices and research labs. We've made it to the third floor of the Westgate building. If you took the stairs, please take a moment to catch your breath. The third floor houses the majority of IST faculty offices and research labs. You'll also find Hanson Lounge, a small gathering space found in Westgate. It's usually a bit quieter too. As you navigate down these curved hallways, you'll find dozens of offices where faculty work between classes. You may not spend as much time up here as you will on the first and second floors, but here's where you'll go to ask questions during office hours, engage with faculty about research opportunities, and seek their input about career paths and internships. ISC faculty bring expertise from so many different areas. AI, data sciences, cybersecurity, human computer interaction, social and organizational informatics, ethics, sustainability, and more. Many of them had careers in the industry before joining the college. It's great access to professionals who know what life will be like after graduation. Faculty are an incredible resource. Get to know them, let them know your interests, and tell them your goals. They're eager to help. Also found throughout the third floors are a variety of research labs. These are primarily used for graduate students, but undergraduate students can also work on research projects. If you want to do research, reach out to a faculty member who works in an area of interest to you. They may have opportunities available in their labs. Students who take on the challenge often have their chance to present their research at major conferences and publish findings alongside IST faculty and graduate students. So that's what you'll find inside the Westgate building. Let's head back outside to wrap up the tour. Thanks for checking out the home of the College of IST at Penn State with me. The Westgate building is such a unique facility, but more than its visual appeal, there are so many great things that happen inside. The College of IST works hard to be a small school within a big university. The faculty and staff are attentive to you as an individual student who has unique strengths, challenges, and goals. 
The majors and courses provide a common foundation, but allow room for you to pursue your specialized interests. And most importantly, there is a truly welcoming community where everyone can find a home. Thanks again for touring the Westgate Building with me. If you have any questions, send us an email. And don't forget to connect with the College of IST on social media. We hope you come back soon.